Sales taxes collected on purchases made at brick and mortar stores help fund municipal services for local communities. However, internet only retailers are not required to collect sales taxes for similar purchases made online, providing them a distinct advantage over their brick and mortar counterparts. We recently spoke with Senator Lamar Alexander, who is a strong proponent of a sales tax collection process that is fair and equitable for everyone, and an author of legislation that will help modernize our antiquated law. Senator, why did you decide to get involved with the issue of sales tax fairness? Well, for me, it's a matter of, number one, states' rights, number two, uh, lower taxes, and number three, fairness. Uh, in Tennessee, for example, uh, we have a lot of people who have customers come into their store, try on a pair of cowboy boots, and they go home and buy it online. And the reason they buy it online is because they don't have to pay the tax. Now, they owe the tax, they just don't pay it. So it seemed to me that it was not fair to treat some businesses one way and uh, uh, an out-of-state business another. And it wasn't fair to treat some taxpayers one way and another taxpayer another way. Many conservatives claim they want the federal government out of the way of the free market. Uh, wouldn't you agree that this legislation does just that? It does precisely that. It gets the federal government out of two things, out of the state's own business for deciding uh, what its tax policy ought to be, and it gets it out of the free market. All this legislation does is say to the state of Tennessee, you decide. <laughs> Uh, what taxes you want to have and from whom you want to collect them. And if you want to collect taxes from some, say, from some people and not from others, that's your business. But it also gives Tennessee the opportunity to collect taxes from everybody who owes them. And if it does that, it can lower the overall tax rate for everybody. Some on the other side of this issue will take every advantage to mislead the public by suggesting this legislation is a new tax. How do you respond to those assertions? Well, that's not true. I mean, the, the, what we're talking about here is a tax that already exists. People already owe it. Some people are paying it and some people aren't. And because some people aren't paying it, taxes are higher for everybody else. So I know of a governor in a western state who's, who already has in mind exactly which tax rate he's going to lower if he gets the right to collect taxes from everybody who already owes it. So what would it mean for local communities if they were able to start collecting these taxes? Well, it could mean whatever they choose for it to mean. It could mean they could use new revenues to pay teachers or to build roads. Uh, that would help of, if they collect taxes from everybody, then they don't have to raise the property tax, for example, to do that. It also postpones the day, which we hope never comes, when we have a state income tax. The inequity in the current tax legislation is threatening Main Street retailers and the communities they serve, but that can be changed. It's time for Congress to support legislation that reflects the realities of a 21st century marketplace.